All right guys, and welcome back to the Tech Channel. This is our channel where you're gonna find all our unboxings, our reviews, and our educational stuff to help you along in your RC journey. And today I'm pretty stoked, you guys know me, I'm a drone guy, and today I have the HGLRC Sector 132. Now, if you guys don't know who HGLRC is, they're a company that specializes in drone electronics, and now they're going into the ready-to-fly or bind-and-fly market as well. You guys might have seen them with our Turbo Gremlins, we carry the 28 amp all-in-one stack, but there's one thing that's unique about this one, which I wanted to get in our hands, and big shout out, thank you to HGLRC for sending this over to us. And the cool thing about this is it actually records in HD quality and it doesn't do just 1080, it does 4K. So that really impressed me and I wanted to get it in my hands and try it out to share with you guys out there and let you know kind of like my first experience and what my opinion was flying around here at the shop and even outdoors I went and uh, it was pretty awesome because not only do I have my FPV feed, which is my first person view through the goggles, I also had the capabilities to record HD. So you can get this from HDLRC in two ways. You can get a plug and play where it comes with no receiver, or you can get a bind and fly, which you can get a FR Sky receiver in it, or you can get a Spectrum DSMX. And this one actually came with the FR Sky receiver. So I just bound it up to my Tyrannus and it was pretty easy to set up. There was only a couple of steps that I had to go through to get it up and flying. And one of those steps was going through my beta flight configurator and setting up my mode switches. Other than that, like everything in there was pretty much set up, ready to go. Another thing that's cool is this runs three and four cell. And I went straight to four cell with the ducts on here with the 2.5 inch propellers. And I had no problem doing that because it does run the 1106 3800 KV motor. So I was more than comfortable with putting my four cell on it. Now, if we take this top plate off and look on the inside of this quad, it comes with a Zeus all-in-one flight controller, and that's with a 15 amp 4-in-1 ESC. So that's gonna be all on one board. And if you look closely here, it's gonna be your first layer. And then on top of that flight controller, you're gonna notice two more boards, and that's the boards to the CADX 4K camera. And that's where you're gonna put your SD card or hook it up to the computer via USB if you wanna change settings. Now a neat thing about this camera is you can download the app and the app is actually kinda of essential because that's gonna be able to give you the functionality to go into the camera and change whatever kind of settings you want. Now, I wasn't sure on video quality and I, I made sure to do some tests and it, I'm probably gonna put it in here. If I did, you're gonna see it right now, is the GoPro versus the CADX image. And I'm running a session five here and I'm running 2.7K in 60 frame auto on the GoPro. And I'm also running 2.7K everything in auto on the CADX camera and you can see the difference here while I'm flying around inside and outside um, the difference between the GoPro and the CADX image. But I really enjoyed this because the form factor is nice and small so I was able to go through our whoop gates in here and this thing's light enough and small enough. If I bumped right into one of those mirrors inside the kaleidoscope tunnel, I wasn't afraid of cracking it or anything because this thing really, if you look at it, it's super tiny. One other thing that I'm really impressed about the Sector 132 is it comes with propeller guards. So if you bump into somebody, it's not gonna cut them or if you bump into a wall, you're not gonna damage some property or someone. I can go ahead and fly around Alex and Stefan out there and they're not gonna be uh, too intimidated because it does have ducks and they know if it bumps into them, it's not really gonna cause any damage. But what's cool about the Sector is it comes with a second set of props which are three inch propellers. So when you run ducts, you're gonna have to run the two and a half inch propellers. But if you don't need to run the guards and you want a little bit extra power uh, and get going a little bit faster, you're gonna be able to run a three inch propeller. So I actually took it outside without the ducts with three inch propellers and raced it around and this thing scoots pretty quick. I could see this actually being pretty fun to record some HD little micro races with my buddies uh, around my backyard or even out here at Edgewater. So that's a huge plus. But I really like it for the benefit of the, the propeller guards and I mostly run it with the two and a half inch props with the propeller guards on four cell back. So big shout out to HGLRC for sending this little Sector 132 our way to check out. I'm definitely going to keep it in my book bag of tricks. And a big thank you to you guys out there for checking out the content. So make sure to hit that subscribe, that notification bell so you can stay up to date. And uh, until the next one guys, 
I'll see you later.